Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's leave the tomb now and see what's happening. Whoa, it's nighttime now. Would you look at that? Now that it's nighttime, Dampe the Gravekeeper will be out and not that kid. You can see him wandering around down there. You see him over there? Yeah, that guy. He seems kind of spooky, but he's actually pretty friendly. <laughs> But actually, what you want to do here is up here. I think it's this grave. Grab it and pull it back. That was the wrong grave. <laughs> this is a pole. It is a ghost. It's You can't attack it when it's invisible like that, but it doesn't really do all that much. just kind of wanders around, and then sometimes it'll attack you with its lantern. Here, I'll give you a little... Uh, oh, if you target with L targeting, it disappears. My mistake. Uh, you can block its lantern with your shield. And I, I forgot all about that, that it uh, makes itself in invisible when you L target it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't! That's cheating! <laughs> I, now, I could have swore, which of these gravestones was it that... Hmm. Because one... One of these gravestones up here has a thing. Maybe maybe it was the fourth gravestone. It's the third or fourth. Now you're back over here. You really want to play that game. <laughs> um, you can capture pose souls with a bottle, which is used for something later. I'm not going to bother with that, though. Okay, so it's the fourth grave from the left. There's this hole down here. Drop down it. And in here is a redead. We got the sun song. So let's take advantage of it. Don't even bother attacking the reduds. They just take forever with your paring knife here. Wait, do you have to attack this redud? Because there's supposed to be a treasure chest here. So I guess attack this redud until it dies from the back, so I can't hump you to death. <laughs> there we go. See how long that took to kill it? Um. Could you please die? I would, I would very much appreciate if you were to disappear. And I do think you have to wait until it disappears. Let me just try... Can I speed it up a little with the sun song? We shall see. No. <laughs> well, it's disappearing now, so... What? I thought there was a thing in here. Uh... Wait a second. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> but there is supposed to be something in here that... That would be of very much interest to you. Hmm. And that doesn't sound like a wall that I could bomb. Or maybe... Wait, let me hit a normal wall here. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a bomb of a wall. Huh, that, maybe my memory's wrong here? Uh, but there's another grave that you'll want to pull away here. I think it's this one with the flowers, or the weeds, whatever the heck these things are. And go down here. Okay, here's a treasure chest. And... Hi, I was going to say Hyrulean Shield. It's a Highland Shield. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay, this is a bombable wall. This is what it sounds like when a wall is bombable. Listen. See, that's that's how you can tell the difference between the two. So, I don't know what the heck I was thinking of. The other one having something. Huh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe there's, there was supposed to be a Skultula or something in there that I remember. <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. Okay, now with Dompy here, you can do this now, but I'm going to wait until I get a better wallet. But if you talk to him, you can do the heart pounding grave digging tour. I think it's only during certain hours, though. Maybe these are the hours right now. I'll just talk with him here right away for the heck of it. Uh, yeah, he's not the prettiest looking guy here. And what, what are you talking about? Don't mess up the graves. I just pulled them out right in front of you. Yeah, you are a pretty nice guy, I know. <laughs> side business. Yeah, this is the thing. Now, there's a heart piece that you can get out of this. But, the thing is, is that, see, when you stop him, you can pay him to dig at a spot. But, 
Getting a heart piece is completely random around this area. I don't know how I could possibly help you with this. It's completely random. So since it's 10 rupees per play, it might take you quite a while to get this. So yeah, just giving you fair warning. I'm not going to get it until I get a bigger wallet. But yeah, um, one thing I would like to also show you here is there's a Skulltula up on that wall. Can't get that right now until I get the boomerang. But yeah, just thought I would show you that. Now around Kakariko Village, I'm going to clear out a load of Skulltulas as well. Um, hopefully. <laughs> I, I, of course, forgot their locations, but I do know there's five around here. Uh, I did show you around the general area the first time I came through here, so maybe what I'll do is just cut to each Skulltula location. Maybe. <laughs> Let's just see how things go, I guess. Oh wait, I, I can hear one here. Uh, oh, hello there. I believe I can get you right now. And target. Wait, can I like climb up this thing? Yes, I can. Oh, I think that makes things a whole lot easier. Okay, let's keep checking around this place. Like counterclockwise, I guess. Wow, hello there. <laughs> oh, you aren't as hard to find as I thought you would be. Woo! Awesome sauce. Okay, let's keep going around. And. Maybe I'll have to break some crates or something. You know they love to hide under crates. Wait, can I break? I was... Uh, well, you can't break a tree, but I mean break a crate. And well, this works out for me. <laughs> I was going to try every tree in the village i seen there. And what do you have to say, emo man? People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Whoa! Where is this coming from? Wow, I, I I don't like that tone of voice, man. I don't like that at all. Anyway, I got three out of the five Skulltulas, so let's just continue on through here and see what's up. Wait, wait, I remember one. Get out your slingshot. Way up here. Otherwise, that'll hinder you from climbing on top of here later. And... Okay, that took longer than expected. <laughs> I wish Link would climb a little faster. And I believe there's something that you can do up here to take a shortcut. I believe up to, like, if you backflip onto that house there, and eh, if I'm not mistaken, you can... No, that's not the case. Well, there's some shortcut that you can do up there to sequence break and get a heart piece early. Or something like that to get on top of that thing. And yeah, I'm, I'm not good at sequence breaking in games. So that, that's just not my forte, per se. Uh, I hear a Skulltula. Yes, I know. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> I just want to look around here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How did I hear you up here and then you seem silent? How are you being silent sometimes, and not other times, Mr. Shiny Gold Skulltula? I would very much appreciate if you were to tell me. Fine, be that way, I'll just kill you. And that's the last one in the village. Woohoo! Or at least, you know, outside of the graveyard. <laughs> now what you want to do here is get out your letter. Uh, actually, I'll replace the bottle with that and keep my ocarina out. And now I'll go over to this guy, and he'll be like, The road is closed beyond this point! Can't you read the sign over there? Well, actually, I didn't read the thing. And Yeah, I am just a kid. However, I'm afraid I have permission to come. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that autograph. I'm going to be selling this on eBay later. Ha, 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 ha. What do you mean, game? This is no game. I'm trying to save the world and get myself rich at the same time. 
and with a flick of his spear, he opens the gates. Yes? Yeah, I got the proper shield. They're talking about a, um, a Highland shield. Um, at, back at the Hyrule Castle Town Market, you can get a shield from them if you ever lose the one that I got for free from the graveyard there. That's why I went in there. But dang, I could have swore there was a heart piece underground. I seriously could have swore that there was a thing there. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. There was... Uh, I don't know. Or maybe maybe it's behind a bombable wall or something like that. And I don't know. <laughs> because there was that other wall that I could blow up later. And yeah. And this, this guy, remember his... Remember this guy as well. He's looking for a popular mask. Keep that in mind. Write it down. Uh, that's when we do the Happy Mask Store uh, trading game sort of thing. And yeah. Anyway, let's just go up to Death Mountain and worry about that heart piece back at the graveyard a little bit later. Because it doesn't really make much sense to uh, do it now and whatnot. Anyway, Death Mountain Trail... You can't really do anything just yet until you get bombs, so don't even bother. These are Tektites. Yeah, they're a pretty predictable enemy, actually. You just They just kind of jump towards you, and yeah. <laughs> you can just wait for them to hop towards you and then swing your sword, and there's no real problem. Just get used to their jump distance, and you shouldn't have any trouble dodging them. Yeah, just like that. We'll just let them hop around. They're just the wildlife. You don't have to worry. Uh, there's a heart piece I can sequence break to get over there a little bit later, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hello, Goron. How's it going? And are you naked and scratching your belly? Dear Lord! This is not kid-friendly in the least! Oh, so there's a boulder blocking the Dodongo's cavern, huh? Hmm... Well, that doesn't sound very safe. Man, I hope I won't have to go inside there later. That would be terrible. Alright, I'll go check that place out, I guess. Why not? Yeah, okay. Uh, and you'll notice I'm not abusing the B button like I have been in the last couple of parts. I got a little bit too crazy with the B button and I've been skipping text like crazy. And I felt kind of bad for doing that. <laughs> What do you have to say? <laughs> a beautiful fairy lives on top. Oh, I'm going to have to go up there later for a certain thing. I can't go up there just yet until I get bombs. Here, I'll just show you the sign here. Death Mountain Trail. Uh, up here, you'll see these bombs. Uh, not bombs. These rocks that I can bomb a little bit later. But I can't do that right now. So, yeah. Oh, play the sun song over there, I think, for a, a pink fairy. Well, actually, let's just test that right now. Uh, don't mind that Goron that's rolling directly towards me. He will hurt me if he touches me, but... <laughs> Aha! So it does! Okay. You know what? I'll grab you because I because I took that half heart of damage there and whatnot. Uh, these walls, you can bomb. Just saying. <laughs> uh, and there's some rocks that you can pick up on top of there. Over here is a Goron with a bomb flower. It's a native plant-like species to this area that's also quite combustive. <clears throat> and yeah, you don't want to touch those flowers too much, and yeah. And I would, well, I would like to know about those kinds of things, but not that much, actually. I don't want to, well, I guess I could. No, I'm not going to go through all that text. I don't want to bore you guys. This part's already been taking quite a while here, so let's just go into here and explore Goron City. And see more naked people. Ah yes, Goron City. What do you have to say about your homelands, mister? Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because the food shortage in this town are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter a quarry. It's the Gongo's Cavern. Oh, man. I'm going to have to do something about that, aren't I? I'm just getting that vibe. Well, 
I guess I could unplug that hole for them. I mean, you know, just let them feed themselves. But caves are scary. I don't want to go inside the cave. That's kind of scary. Top sirloin rocks. Yeah, they eat rocks. And uh, what you want to do here is actually jump down to the bottom there. It's a nice little shortcut. Or you can walk down there the long way. Hey! <laughs> Jesus, camera angle. Camera angle is always messing up. Oh, man. Well, I shouldn't say always messing up, but it, I always recall it messing up often when you talk to people, like signs and stuff like that get in the way of things. And Like this one, it looks like the camera went underneath the uh, uh, platform itself somehow or something. I don't know. And that red stone? Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Perhaps that is something that I will need. So, he seems to have the stone, and that guy is all the way down here. Read this. You're standing on soft carpet for guests. It feels so plush under your feet. <laughs> Actually, this was the thing that I wanted to... Wait, was it this guy? I believe maybe it's this guy that hints hints how to get in there. I know how to get in there. Trust me. I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Yeah, now you know how to get in here. Stand on the plush carpet. How the heck did I do that? <laughs> there we go. Bow time, man. Bow time. And let's go inside. Somehow the lighting magically changes and turns on. I don't know how that works. And this is the leader. I am PK Gam. Well, actually Link in this game. <laughs> well, I kind of am their messenger. I got a letter here. And yeah, or at least I thought I had a letter in my possession. Hmm. Have I been robbed? I certainly hope not. Yeah, I heard this story a couple times as I was coming in here. This is a Goron problem. Is that, is that some sort of pun or something like that? And let's check. Oh, I do still have the letter. <laughs> I thought the guy takes my letter, actually. I, I forgot that I continue to keep that letter until I get the next key item. This, this slot right here and the slot to the left of it are set for key items. Anyway... Oh boy, get ready for this one. Okay, he's he's in a really bad mood, so we gotta cheer him up somehow, okay? I'm not gonna talk during this one, because his dance speaks for itself. struggling to hold back a laugh there. I was gonna laugh a few times. Oh god. <laughs> that is amazing. Nothing I could say could possibly make that funnier. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, I would like the spiritual stone because I have to get the chai forest and yeah. That would definitely be something that would be required to get that. Oh, I had a feeling. I knew it. <sighs> Unbelievable.
Why is it always me? Well, now that I got the Goron bracelet, I can pick up bomb flowers. Yeah, I didn't tell you before, but those bomb flowers, you can't pick up whatsoever. And I'll just talk to you one last time here. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we explore this place a little bit. Actually, I don't think I can do much stuff over here just yet, so maybe I'm going to have to skip that for now. <laughs> anyway, I'm done here. Ta